all right hey guys it's your girl jay we're back here again with another video today we are going to be talking about air force jobs what's the best job what's my job do i like it hmm i don't know so if you see me looking down i wrote down some little notes here okay starting off my job is 2sox1 which is material management also known as supply i joined the air force or i started to go to bmt january 2017 which was of course lackland air force base in san antonio okay tech school is also at lackland it is 33 days the tech school class i don't think it was that hard i think i ended the class with a 99 so i was the class leader and I became a distinguished grad. There was one person who did get held back, but he had some stuff going on. So it wasn't like, the class is not hard. I wasn't even paying attention. When I took the test, I didn't know anything about supply. Still, when I graduated, if that says a lot, I still passed with a 99. So it is very easy. So after tech school, you don't automatically go to your first base you have to wait for orders and for some people that did take up to six months they were on what is it tech school details where you're in the dorms sitting at the little front desk you know checking ids cleaning all types of stuff people was there for six months because they did not have orders thankfully mine took a couple of weeks so when you're leaving your tech school base you have the option of taking leave in route like going home, or you can go straight to your base. If you do leave in route, the little ticketing area does not pay for your ticket. If you go straight to your base, they pay for your ticket. I don't know if it's still the same. Like I said, I joined in 2017, so it's 2021. A lot of things has changed. But when I was in, that's what they did. And I did decide to take leave in route. I wish I would've just went straight to my base because it's like when you go home, you're not like different, different, but things are different. And you're just gonna be sitting there like, you can't really do nothing now, you're in the Air Force. You can't be like partying and doing all that, la la la, okay? So when you get to your base, you're going to start learning your job and then you'll get issued CDCs. CDCs is basically about your job. Um, for five level, that's what you first start off as. It's four volumes for supply and then you get 30 days per volume and then after the end of 30 days you have to take a test and then after you take a test I think you go from the three level to a five level I think after a year I want to say and then like I said after that you're still continuing to learn your job as I said my job is supply and I started off working at a part store f15 a10 part store supporting jets. Um, I actually like working in the parts store. I like working in a warehouse. You pull the part, you go in a system, you put them away in a system, pull it in a system for people who are ordering it, shipping it out, and that's it. Like, I love the parts store, I miss the parts store. I was at the parts store for about a year and a half, two years, and then they moved me to another section called equipment. So now in supply, there are different sections. There's DMS, which you work with maintainers, there's customer service, there's equipment, there's the part store, there's central storage, the big warehouse, and there's inventory, there's inspection. There's just a whole bunch of different sections you can work in. So it's not like you're stuck in the same one forever. You can move around and that's basically supply in a nutshell right there. So equipment, that was my next job. It's basically you have, you're an equipment manager, you have customers, it's enlisted officers, civilians, it does not matter who, they have an account. It's anything from monitors to laptops, whatever, that is called equipment. So we manage that. We make sure their training's up to date. We're making sure they are inventorying their equipment. And then we do inspections on them every year just to make sure they're doing what they're supposed to do with their account. So while I was in EAE, I made BTZ. For you guys who do not know, BTZ is airmen below the zone. You can promote six months early. 
Um, I started out with no stripes. That's Airman Basic E1. And I got BTZ in two years. That's all right. We're going to go into that later on how I got BTZ. But I did make BTZ and I was pregnant during that time. So I was really surprised. I didn't think they were going to pick me, but I got the call from the commander when I was on maternity leave saying, oh, congrats. And I was like, eh. you know, so boom, BTZ. So then after almost two years, no, a year and that job, I tested for E5, which is staff sergeant. I didn't find out the results then. I actually got the opportunity to be working for our squadron commander as a unit deployment manager, also known as UDM. So as a UDM, we deploy everybody in our squadron. We also do other little programs in planning. We work with CSS, leadership, just a lot of different things. Being a UDM, it's nice because you get to be, you know, in the front face of leadership. I was the first senior airman to be in the office. Usually it's E5, staff sergeant, or above, but they gave me the opportunity to work there. And that proved a lot because last year I made E5 staff for the first time. My very first time. I made it and I was surprised. I, it, I only studied two weeks before. Like, I didn't think they was going to schedule my date so fast. So if you want to see me make a video on how I made Below the Zone and how I made staff first time in three years, I was only in the Air Force for three years and I made staff. So if you want to see that, I can make videos separately for that because that's a whole nother thing. So that's basically my job. I think I want to cross train. I want to cross train and become a nurse. They have a commissioning program for enlisted to become nurses. You do the whole OTS as an officer. I think medical has the best job because every time I go in there, majority of them are smiling. They have food in there. We have to go, you know, to Popeye's and Burger King and they got little cafes and stuff in there. I want to be in medical thing. Officer commissioning program for nursing I, is very competitive, I heard, but I've seen, when a list comes out, I've seen A1Cs, um, E3s become or get in that program. So that's what I want to try to do. Right now, I am going to college to get my bachelor's in healthcare administration. I don't know if that's what I want to do. I know. If I do decide to get out after my extension this year, yes, I extend it. I want to go to school, probably UNLV, to become a social worker. I am doing some volunteer work, you know, at a safe house and stuff like that. I like to help people, you know, nurses, they help people, social workers, they help people. So that's what I want to do. So that is basically it in this video. Like I said, if you want more, about promotions, exactly how it is in the Air Force. Um, comment down below. I'll probably make another video anyways just on that. So yeah, please stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope this is a pretty easy description of you know my job in the Air Force. Nothing too much. So yeah, bye guys.